This question has always surprised me when people are confused when I say you should have protein directly before bed. It's simple, really. That's going to be the longest time you go without eating and you want muscle protein synthesis to keep going. So if you're not having protein directly before bed, you're gonna be going like 12 hours plus without protein, which means there will be a much longer time period where muscle protein synthesis is not activated. And that's exactly what this study is showing. Do I agree? Yes. These blocks represent your protein intake. If your only goal is to build muscle and turn into Lord Swaldemort, the most important protein variable is total protein intake. Consuming protein immediately post-workout. What the best source of protein is. All that other shit is fine print compared to just eating enough. But that doesn't mean it's irrelevant. Let's say you consume 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, which has been shown to be a decent ballpark for muscle growth. If protein timing and frequency were totally irrelevant, you could just eat that as one meal per day. But we know the ceiling for muscle protein synthesis is much lower than this. So it probably makes sense to break that down into multiple meals so you stimulate muscle protein synthesis multiple times per day. And because you need a certain amount of protein to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis, dividing it across even meals may be better than consuming the same amount of protein skewed towards one meal. So it looks more like this. Basically meaning if your goal is to turn into the Hulk or Tyrannosaurus Flex, taking that 1.6 grams per kilogram per day and dividing it across four equal meals is pretty sound advice. Now, I do think it's important not to get obsessive about this, because if it really was a deal breaker, every study study that looks at skewed protein intakes would conclude that it's significantly worse for muscle growth, but they don't. If protein intake really needed to be spread evenly across the day, anyone who follows time-restricted feeding would notice significantly worse muscle growth. And it's not that clear cut. So don't do that thing I did as a teenager, where I rushed to get some fast digesting protein inside of me as soon as I woke up, then checked my watch to make sure I consumed protein regularly throughout the day, then consumed some slow digesting casein immediately before bed, all in a vain attempt to maximally stimulate muscle protein synthesis and minimize muscle protein breakdown. All that obsession got me was a lighter wallet and a significant decline in my mental health. All for the sake of habits that only contributed a couple of smidges above fuck all to my overall results. Cliff notes. Consume enough protein throughout the day. Dividing it across meals is probably smart. And yes, that probably includes before bed. But don't stress about being too meticulous unless your entire career depends on your physique.